Four eyes for the flag. Four eyes for the flag. Town Board of Town Limiter award bid for the 2015 one-ton single axle truck with a two to three yard cubic dump body and plow mm -hmm. to Robert Green Truck Division in the amount of $45,265 as recommended by the Town and Highway Superintendent and McGoey Hauser and Axel Consulting Engineers PC in the attached memorandum. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Rickenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilwoman Diasadi? Yes. Councilwoman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair will entertain a motion to the Town Board of Town New authorized participation as co applicant in the New York State Department of State 2014 2015 Local Government Efficiency Grant for the Northeast Orange County Water Supply Sustainability Project in accordance with the resolution annexed here to. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Rickenbaugh? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasad? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair Lieutenant Motion, Town Board of Town Windsor authorizes supervisors to execute an agreement between the Town of Windsor and the New York City Water Board for water demand management planning assistance. Move. Second. <coughs> Councilman Rickenbaugh? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasad? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Hearing no objections, Town Board of Town and Windsor receiving file fully executed amendment number one to agreement between the Town and Windsor and Malcolm Kearney Incorporated for the purpose of providing velocity data. Chair Lantana motion to Town Board of Town and Windsor authorize supervisor to execute a purchase agreement and all related documents in the amount of $345,000 
for the replacement of the existing sludge dewatering belt filter press system at the sewer treatment plant. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Reichenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Mr. President Green? Yes. Chairman motion to Town Board of Town and Winter. Hereby amends the motion adopted at the meeting of the Town Board on January 8, 2014, establishing the standard work days for elected officials and appointed officials. The attached amendment schedule hereby establishes the standard work days for elected and appointed officials in the Town Board, hereby certifies receipt of the records of work activities or that the Town maintains a record of active time worked. The day's work shall be reported to the New York State Local Employees Retirement System based on the record of activities maintained and submitted by these officials to the clerk of this body or based on records maintained by the town as actual time worked. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Rickenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasadi? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Montana Motion Town Board of the Town of Windsor adopt the following resolution where certain employees of the town court of the town in the Windsor are currently serving as uniformed court officers at the town court, and whereas it is the desire of the town board of the town of the Windsor to designate such employees serving that capacity as peace officers pursuant to the criminal procedure law 2.10. Uh, now, therefore, be it resolved the town board of the town of Windsor authorizes the supervisor pursuant to municipal home rule. Law section 40 to designate the or request the legislature of New York, of the state of New York, for special designation employees of the town court, of the town of Windsor, serving as uniform court officers at such court to be peace officers pursuant to CPL 210. And be it further resolved that the town attorney is directed to prepare a home rule request to be executed by the supervisor and forwarded to the appropriate legislator. Oh, second. <coughs> Councilman Reagan Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair on 10 motion, Town Board of Town Windsor authorized supervisor to execute an amended amendment to the existing cooperative agreement dated July 8, 1993, as amended with the County of Orange for the purposes of undertaking community development and home programs for the program year commencing in federal fiscal years. 2015, 2016, 2017, and for success of three-year qualification periods as provided in the automatic renewal provisions pursuant to the Housing and Community Development Act of 1974, as amended in Title II of the National Affordable Housing Act of 1990, as amended in accordance with the resolution annexed here to it. Move. Second. Roll. Councilman Reagan Bob? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Council Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair Lantan, motion to Town Board of Town of Windsor rescind motion 7 on the April 2nd, 2014 Town Board agenda and authorize the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for sealed bids for stream bag stabilization program, 4, 348 Butternut Drive, uh, Butternut Slope uh, Stream Barbs. It's also known as uh, Butternut Slope Stream Barbs. Project which will be received and publicly opened on the 17th day of July 2014 at 10 a.m. local time at the office of the town, town of New Windsor Town Clerk, 555 Union Avenue in New Windsor, New York. And the town board of the town of New Windsor reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Move. Second. Roll call. Councilman Reichenbach? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasada? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair Lantana Motion, Town Board of Town and Windsor authorized the town clerk to advertise pursuant to law calling for sealed bids for the Forge Hill Road Moon and Sewer Crossing Project, which shall be received and publicly opened on the 26th day of June 2014 at 10 a.m. local time at the offices of the town clerk, 555 Union Avenue, New Windsor, New York. The town board of town and Windsor reserves the right to reject any and all bids. Move. Second. Roll. Councilman Reichenbach? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Council Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair on the motion to the Town Board of Town Windsor authorizes solicitor's permit submitted by Family Energy 729 Main Street, Buffalo, New York um, to solicit energy contracts door to door in the town. Permit should be obtained from the town clerk's office. Move. Second. Move. 
Councilman Regenbaum? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. Chair of the Town Motion Town Board of Town Owners authorizes solicitor to permit Smith by Solar City Corporation of Westchester to solicit solar energy door to door in the town. Permission should be obtained from the town clerk's office. Moved. Second. Roll call. Councilman Regenbaugh? Yes. Councilman Lundstrom? Yes. Councilman Biasati? Yes. Councilman Malarkey? Yes. Supervisor Green? Yes. We have no objections. Town Board of Town Owners is receiving a file notice claim in the matter of Windsor Realty LLC versus the Town of Windsor. There are no objections. Town Board of Town of Windsor receiving file to the Town Clerk a certificate of results of canvas and ballots cast at a special election of the Bellsgate Fire District held on May 20th, 2014. There are no objections. Town Board of Town of Windsor receiving file to the Town Clerk. The audit report for Town of Windsor for Nugent and Nugent and Housler PC. Certified public accounts for the year ending December 31st, 2013. Chair Lantana motion, uh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> Receive a file. Uh, following reports, town clerks for the month of May 2014, Recreation Department for the month of May 2014, Police Department for the month of May 2014, Building Department for the month of May 2014, Fire Prevention, May 2014. Tax Receivers, Water, Sewer, and Garbage, May 2014. Justice Calderon's report for May 2014 and Justice Thorpe's report for May 2014. Before we go on, Andrew, I would most certainly like to wish you and the Rangers the best of luck in the upcoming <laughs> Stanley Cup. Is that in the form of a motion? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> But uh, it would be very nice to see the Rangers win. Yes, it would. Yes. Okay. Uh, board, any? No. Other than, other than Andrew for the Rangers. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing here. Okay. Public forum. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, hi. Uh, Captain Chinaski from the Butterman area. Uh, I just want to kind of line things up here. So the bids are going to come in on July 17th for the barbs on uh, Fort Trail. That's when the bids will be received. And then, what do you think? Four weeks, six weeks before actual movement begins? Uh, well, they'll be awarded at the, the, the next meeting. Okay, so no uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to look at the contracts. The engineers right. look at the contracts, make a recommendation, award it at the next meeting. We'll probably, within uh, two weeks after the award, have a, a pre-construction conference. That's how it usually goes. Uh, and probably two weeks within, within that, okay. we'll hopefully get the contract and moving on to stream bars. Yes, Leo. Yeah, item number six. Uh, could you have a clarification, please? The reference to the uh, New York City. Hold on, Jeff, I stole my file. I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I, I missed that. I was looking for a second. No water board. Reference to New York City water planning assistance. Can you have a clarification on that, please? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll tell you all about it, Leo, as soon as I find it. <laughs> Okay. No uh, wine. Pardon? No wine. Uh, this is an agreement uh, for a water demand management program uh, in cooperation with the City of New York. What they're going to do is they're going to send a consultant up and uh, together with our water people, they're going to come out with a management plan and then they're going to provide up to $400,000 uh, to implement the recommendations in that plan. Kind of offset the excess of water that we have been using? Well, it, the, actually, the goal, the goal of the plan is to reduce water consumption by 5%. Okay. You know, they're, you know, they've been doing a lot of things in the city of New York on their own, you know, themselves, and now they're extending it to the up, upstate communities. So it's a good thing. I mean, it's, it's a good thing. And the bet, better thing is they're paying for it. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Anyone else? Yes, sir. May I approach it up to the middle? Yes. Do you have the petitions with you? Yes, I do. Good. Bring them up. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, my name is Klaus Salman. I live, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, Mr. Supervisor, thank you for an opportunity to speak. Um, 
I live at 765 Hewlett Lane in the Plum Point condos in the, here in town. And I come before you tonight as a representative of a, a good many fellow Plum Point residents to express a deep concern regarding recent developments in our community. Uh, as I'm sure you're already aware, there have been uh, abundant increase in trains along the Hudson River tracks. Many of these trains are now carrying highly explosive back of crude oil from North Dakota, and they're using unsafe tanker cars to carry this oil. Um, some of you may have even seen the two-page spread in this week's Time magazine, which presents the issues very simply and very clearly. These oil trains, which the railroad engineers call bomb trains, now regularly run along the Hudson, and they carry over 3 million gallons of crude oil per train. Any derailment along the Hudson will be catastrophic because the reversal of the tides will make oil recovery nearly impossible, and the river we fought so hard to clean for the last 50 years will be irretrievably damaged. We also have great concerns about the proposed expansion of the global properties in New Windsor and the impact of the surrounding communities. I therefore would like to present to you a collection of petitions asking that you follow the lead of the Ulster County Legislature and an increasing number of other riverfront communities uh, speaking out against the use of the DOT 111 tanker cars, which were never designed to carry crude oil, and speaking out against the use of the Hudson River tracks to transport this crude oil. It's probably the most sensitive part of the, of the country we could possibly carry this, this fuel along. And also to call upon federal, state, and local officials um, uh, to remove the, the trains from the Hudson Corridor and to re require the BBC to do a full review of any expansion plans up global in the winter, um, particularly to require the use of best technology to reduce any risks to the atmosphere or the soil or the water for anything that they want to do uh, if the site can't make uh, safe in trying to do what they want to do, maybe they should consider a different location. Uh, so I have here a uh, petition which, uh, as of tonight, include 90 signatures from uh, residents in Plum Point, many of whom will come out tonight uh, to ask me to speak for them, and uh, we'd like to present these to you. Thank you. Thank you. I will see that the uh, town clerk forwards forwards that to uh, all our representatives, both federal and state. The, uh, the, the tank cars that they're using now are most certainly a, uh, a consideration. Uh, before, before anything happens in New Windsor, DEC uh, is acting as lead agency on this entire project. Uh, and we're talking about, you know, probably several years down the road. Uh, but. Uh, the, the process hasn't even started in Windsor. They haven't even filed an application with our planning board. And they, they obviously can't until all the, you know, the secret review is completely done. So uh, it's, it's going to be years. And, you know, like you, uh, I don't live that far from the, from the railroad tracks, as I explained uh, to the gentleman this morning. It's, you know, um, you know, it's a concern. But it's a concern for the entire town board, you know, this, the safety along those tracks. Uh, you know, global, global has been up to date, a very good uh, business and, and, you know, community business. Uh, that does not negate the fact that what they're doing is dangerous. I mean, the, the rail cars that they are transporting the fuel in simply were not designed to, to carry this sweet crew that's coming up the, the tracks. And we most certainly would like to see them, you know, there, there's new technology out there. There's, we would certainly would like to see them using the new rail cars and, uh, you know, s stop using the, what, 911 is that what? Uh, it's a DOT 111. 111, yeah. Uh, you know, we would like to see that. If I may add to that just a little bit. Sure. Um, about three weeks ago, there was a derailment in Lynchburg, Virginia. Yes. With I, I just read, read about it today after. Uh, there were about 13 cars or so that derailed. Mm -hmm. uh, the tragedy is that. Two of those cars broke up and spilled somewhere between 30 and 50,000 gallons into the river or up into the air. <coughs> These were the new and improved train cars. They're not even good enough really? in the improved version. And they were going at the reduced speed that the, oil, that the railroad industry says they will do to make it safer. And the track was inspected the day before. And they still don't know why it derailed. But they're still running those train cars down mm -hmm. those tracks, down that river. And it's just a matter of time before it happens here. And that's why we're asking uh, for the DOT, the federal DOT, Mr. Fox, uh, the director, to, to issue an emergency ban on the use of the DOT 111 cars from crude oil anywhere in the country because they're just not safe, period. Mm -hmm. 
So we're asking to lend your voice to support we, that. We will, we will most certainly see that the, the, you know, both DEC and New York State and EPA, uh, the river keeper, everybody gets copies of these petitions. And they're with our support. Uh, perhaps for the next meeting, Mike, we can consider a resolution. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, no, we share your concern. Appreciate it. No, we're happens. Our fire departments are not equipped to deal with this. No, uh, I mean we have some excellent fire departments, but uh, God forbid it should spill out into the river. You know, I grew up on this river. I surely don't want to see crude, you know, fifty or sixty thousand gallons of crude oil running down the river. So, but then, thank you for your efforts and be assured we will follow up on it. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Well, I, just, I just wanted to clarify as far as the Time Magazine article was concerned. It's from, it's the June 2nd edition, and in that two page article, there are specific points um, in which the 111s are inadequate and can be made safer. Mm -hmm. So, um, I'm only bringing it up in case you would like to read that article. So if you have a copy, maybe you could just send it up to my office. If, if, if you have that, I, I would I'd like to read the article. Or I can go online and get it. But the point is that there is technology out there to make them safe. Mm -hmm. So it's simply... Well, apparently they can't of, make them any safer than the new, the, the new cars that, yes. that, you know, that appear to be inadequate already. They are safer than the... They are, the suggestions there are safer than the version that is supposed to be safer than the 111, but mm -hmm. still not safe. Well, anyway, still, still not safe. Yeah. Well, also you have to remember. I'm, I'm a little concerned. You know, the, the proposal that's before the DEC, where you know, and I, I'm not going to get into a big dissertation about this, but I, I am a little concerned about the proposal that's before the DEC that they are acting as lead agency on. You know, deal specifically with the town in the winter. You know, so that's, uh, you know, we're, I'm watching that very closely to see what happens. And, and we very much appreciate your yeah. support. So it's, it's, a, it's a real concern. Sir. Yes, uh, Sir Forza, I want to thank you for your time this morning oh, to discuss sorry. the same issue. Just one other point is that in today's time cell record, it pointed out that the BEC of New York State is not being particularly environmental friendly and that they're coercing the town of Al the city of Albany to proceed with a preliminary injunction approval of the eight two years ago, even though there's multiple evidence that it's not safe. But they're coercing communities not to protest. Uh, so I don't think we can take solace in the good good intentions of the DEC. The well DEC. we've we've got the river keeper on our side also. Okay. And however I'm getting way too old to be coerced. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? Take a motion to Barney. Barney. What? Barney. Oh, I'm sorry. Barney, go ahead. I'm sorry, I didn't see it. Yeah, sometime in January we spoke uh, about modifying the agenda. Uh, yes, I'm working on it. As, as you know, I was out for a oh, period of time. It's, it. it's sitting on my desk. Uh, I haven't gotten into it. Obviously, I haven't gotten into it because of the casino. Uh, we got so tied up with the casino thing, we, we worked so like midnights. That, that, that's why I haven't brought it up earlier. I realized that uh, it we're involved in the casino. But if, if you recall at that meeting, uh, you, you did say that you were going to uh, consult with one of the board members. And uh, uh, since that time, the board member had indicated that he may be, in, you know, he indicated that there may be, that he may be in favor of, mm -hmm. uh, the, you know, that modification. And uh, I just wanted to bring it back up, remind you that, you know, it's, it's sitting on my desk. I, I, I moved it from the the in the inbox to the front of my desk now. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's sitting right right in front of me, and we will address it. Right, so it didn't go in a circular file. No, no, no. It did not go in a circular file. Anyone else? Well, Santa Bush is closed for the form. Oh, I got it. 
Motion to adjourn. Yes. 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 Yes.